What if I told you that the Conqueror Heavy Tank, Britain's answer to the Soviet IS-3, is kind of buffed in War Thunder? That despite being one of the heaviest, slowest, and most awkward tanks of its time, it somehow performs better on paper in the game than it ever did in real-life trials. Today we're diving deep into the L1 series gun, the rounds it fired, and just how much of its actual performance made it into the game, and what didn't. The British 120mm L, 1A1, and L1A2 were developed in direct response to the emerging Soviet heavy tanks and were closely based on the American T-123 gun, the same weapon that would arm the M103. Both the L1A1 and L1A2 were used on the Conqueror. Functionally, they were nearly identical. The A2 variant featured a threaded muzzle for future accessory compatibility, while the rest of the gun system, including its 7.4-meter rifled barrel, trunnion-mounted turret integration, and mid-barrel bore evacuation remained the same. In-game, the L1A2 comes with two main shells, Shot L1G, an APDS round, and Shell L1TK, a Hesh round. Let's talk APDS first. In War Thunder, the Sabbat round can pen pretty much anything. Its round has a 1,493 meters per second velocity and an armor penetration at zero degrees with 447 millimeters of penetration at 1,000 meters and 125 millimeters at 60 degrees. With this high number, it's way higher than historical counterpart. Historical trials showed it could reach around 1,433 meters per second and penetrate up to 390 millimeters of flat armor or 120 millimeters at 55 degrees at a distance of 1,000 yards. To help visualize the difference, I created a graph comparing the in-game performance to estimated historical data. We also worked backwards to estimate the round's muzzle velocity based on its 1,433 meters per second speed at 914 meters. Now, with that context in mind, the results are still pretty striking. At flat angles like zero degrees, the difference between historical and in-game values starts small, just 8% at close range, but rises to nearly 27% at 1.5 kilometers. At 30 degrees, the gap widens faster, reaching over 32% at that same distance. But the biggest leap is at 60 degrees, where the in-game round performs up to 54% better than what the reconstructed historical figures suggest. In-game, the Conqueror's Hesh round travels at 792 meters per second, slightly faster than the historical 762 meters per second, and delivers a consistent 152 millimeters of penetration at any angle or range. That's higher than the real-life average of around 120 millimeters. But unlike APDS, this extra penetration doesn't always translate into consistent results due to how Hesh interacts with complex armor layouts. So, while the L1 gun family brings heavy hitting performance, the way armor slope and internal damage are modeled in-game means that what you see on paper isn't always what you get in battle. 